Welcome to the Positive Pants Podcast. Mindset, motivation, and inspiration to help you find your positive pants. Let go of negative thinking and stop living for the weekend with your host, Fran Excel. So welcome to the show. As always, it's Fran Excel Mindset Coach helping you find your very own pair of positive pants so you can get out of your own way and live a life that you love. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm very grateful you've chosen to put me in your earbuds today. Please do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything and do leave me a review. I love, love, love reading them and it really helps me get found by other people who need to hear what I share. I'd also love you to email me your mindset and productivity questions or topics you'd love me to cover um, to hello at franexcel.com because I know a lot of you think I'm inside your heads because you tell me all the time. But if I don't know what you need, I can't give it to you. So let me know. So how to overcome resistance. Tricky subject. That feeling of resistance you feel when you're starting to go outside your comfort zone is inevitable. But you can overcome it more quickly. It's part of the process. Right now, it probably feels like a heavy, negative feeling full of emotion and all the things that you're making it mean, all the negative thoughts of who are you to do this and you think someone would actually pay that, you know? Not only all the thoughts, but all the distractions and excuses, all the ways you can not actually do the things that you're trying to, the fear, the overwhelm, the blame, the excuses, the overthinking, everything the second guessing and doubting yourself. It's that icky transition stage between where you're at right now and where you're going. It feels like this internal tug of war with part of you wanting to do something and another part of you literally doing everything in its power to stop you, but they're both you. But is it really you? So understand that this isn't actually you just having a negative dialogue with a really freaking mean person in your own head. It's part of the process of your brain's misguided attempt to keep you safe. I talk about this a lot. It's afraid of change and trying to keep you where you are so you don't try to change anymore. Makes sense? That's his goal. For things to go back to exactly as they were. They know you're safe there. They also know you're miserable, but it's safe. It's heavily linked to your unconscious beliefs and thought habits. So If your conscious mind is saying, I want to do this, but your unconscious is saying, hang on a minute, you don't believe you're actually good enough to do this. And I'm going to remind you of that with all the thoughts that are going to stop you even trying. Okay. You then have an internal battle on your hands. You have a good old case of resistance. Then it becomes harder and harder to actually get things done procrastination is ruling your business and you get more and more and more frustrated with yourself because you just can't understand why you're not doing the things you know would help drive you forwards. Super annoying, right? So how do you overcome it? Firstly, accept that resistance is an inevitable part of growth. Yeah, you're certainly not the first and you won't be the last person to experience it. We all struggle with it from time to time. Doesn't matter what stage of your business you're at, new level, new devil. There's no magic pill that makes it go away. Sorry. (laughs) So don't beat yourself up when you do feel it and allow yourself to learn from it. It usually means something awesome is coming. You know, it's more of a case of learning to recognize resistance and then asking it to dance and then you deciding who leads. Yeah. Awareness, as with anything, is the first key to changing it. Recognizing and acknowledging that's what's going on is the quickest way to push through it. And from there, you get to choose and make the decision, in the words of Nike, to just do it. Yeah? Just the awareness and acknowledgement of it takes away its emotional power over you and puts the control back in your hands. So, have a little exercise for you. Pick one, now if you're driving, stop the car, (laughs) stop the car, pause this, whatever you need to do, just don't do this while you're driving, obviously. Pick one task or goal that you know you need or want to do. But just in case, uh, you know, but you just can't seem to get yourself to do. Yeah. Write it down. Now list all the reasons you're telling yourself you can't do it. Keep going until you can't think of any more. And now look at that list. Now, what I want you to do is to pretend that you're in a debate with someone else 
and come up with all the counterways that those things aren't true. Then pick out the core beliefs that you feel the most emotional draw to, that feel the most real to you, and write the opposite of that to create a new, more empowering belief. They're still realistic. So you believe it and you don't just discount it off the bat. So for example, let's take the age old uh, excuse of, I don't have time. Your new belief becomes, I always find time for the things that are important to me. Believable, true, can't really be argued with, consciously or unconsciously, yeah? So change the focus is the next one. Take the focus away from the resistance to why you're doing what you're doing. Lose sight, losing sight of all that, you know, that massive, important, big vision reason you're doing it, even in the first place, it's a surefire way to make it louder, yeah? Take the focus away from the resistance to why you're doing what you're doing, yeah? So this is another reason that clear and measurable goals are important. It needs to be compelling enough to have an emotional drive to keep up that motivation, that big, big vision you have. Get super clear on exactly what it looks like as you possibly can. Consistently remind your brain what you want, why you want it, what it looks like and what is possible. And on the contrary, when you focus on the resistance, the good old what you focus on grows, takes hold. And that becomes the dominating force and what you're essentially telling your brain to give you more evidence for. Ah! <laughs> so when you consciously shift the focus from that to what it is you're aiming for, the big vision, then it will start to work with you to make that happen. So the way you think things are, are the way they will be. It's a self-perpetuating cycle that you're training your brain into. It's not your fault. We all do it. Yeah. Next thing I want you to do is check in with your values. Make sure what you're doing is in line with your values. Is this resistance to change in general and stepping outside of your comfort zone? Or are you actually doing something that doesn't sit right with you? Big question. Next thing I want you to do is change the voice. When we're listening to that inner mean voice, it will take the form of a particular person. Some people hear it as their own voice, like I do. Some people hear it in the voice of a critical parent or family member. Just start to notice it, then literally change the voice. Imagine Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck saying those things to you. You know, would it have such an emotional hold? Would you be able to argue back to it more easily, even laugh it off? This process, again, breaks that emotional action, which is a big, big driver for keeping you stuck. It takes away that mean little voice's power so you can consciously challenge what it's saying. Yeah, and one of my favorite, favorite books to illustrate all of this is Stephen Pressfield's The War of Art. Absolutely brilliant book. Which incidentally can be found on my new bookshelf on my website. Oh, exciting. Now, when you can push through the resistance, there is good news. Right on the other side of resistance is usually a break, break, bleh, bleh, breakthrough of some kind. A new skill, an up level, a limiting belief being broken. When you can start to see resistance as a good thing, it becomes that much easier to deal with. Yeah? So, if you got value from this and you know in your gut that now is the time to step up and start rewiring your thinking and changing things for yourself, then book in a free discovery call so we can work out what needs to happen to get you from where you're at right now to the action taking success you know you can be. And if you want my eyes and ears on your problems, I work with people one-on-one -on -one and through my proactive pants mastermind. So stop waiting for if and when and decide to change things now because you can. And as always, I hope that was helpful. So any questions, just let me know. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye.